Hello, 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 this is modding Minecraft with Monkey Man. Today I'm going to show you guys all about making texture packs like the one we have in the background here. Look at this world, it's so like simple and clean. Anyway, so what we want to do is we'll jump straight into showing you guys how to make your own texture pack on Learn to Mod because... You know, we, sometimes we want to change things up, we have our own personal style, I've been working on my own texture pack that's a little bit different, but you guys will have a different taste as well. We shall jump into the Learn to Mod and it is super easy to uh, get started on your own texture pack, you just go into your own stuff, my stuff, go down to texture packs, you can see I've started on my own one. We want to make a new texture pack, what are we going to call it, um, dummy for video because yeah I'm not going to use this texture pack um, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it creates that boom instant jump on in and here it is it shows you like a preview of what you've got going but we don't want that we want to change the texture pack because what's the point alright so this is where we get into it and you can see all the different textures in front of us that we can mess around with or of course you can jump into the search box makes things nice and simple say I want to change the texture for dirt boom search for dirt there we go or maybe a common one to change is up uh, am I spelling things wrong okay armor let's <laughs> let's spell it right in the video eh, Mikey man that'll be that'll be a good start you don't want the whole world to realize that I'm kinda a bit crazy okay and we can go back out now if we want to change the texture of one of the of one of the t textures I don't know that sounded really dumb what should we change guys like I'm not really sure um, what will be interesting just for the, this quick demo I might change the cake top texture so you click on it and it opens up this nice little window so you can do your editing uh, we can zoom in to make things easier there we go nice and big um, so what I want to do is just change maybe these dots so how about we pick a different color I reckon I reckon we'll go for blue on the, on the icing here and then we can go in there and just click all the dots and it changes the color and you can keep going and change loads of colors there's different tools here so I can like select that whole area to change the color oh that was an accident I'm gonna click ctrl z and it undoes it I think there's an undo and redo button down there it's got all the basic features you can even sort of select the color it's already there, so I just selected that white color. Give me the pencil. So you can so now you can use the color that's on the thing. But so I'm gonna select this one. Boom, boom, boom. Let's do it quickly. There you go. So we have now we have like a, a blue and purpley kind of texture. One thing I should mention also is these symmetry features down here. So we can use these to draw on all sides. See how it does it so you don't have to spend as much time going around each one you know or you can do both sides like this it just does the two sides or the top and bottom um, it just makes things quicker I'm not going to use it on this cake I'm going to actually undo all of that but on some textures you might you know you might find that handy and then when you're done you're done your editing you just commit those changes it'll say that the changes have been saved and that means we are all good to go we can exit out and look you can see the little preview has a nice cake topping And now if you want to actually get this mod into your minecraft you can click deploy so it'll take a minute and it says to wait and then refresh the page so we shall do exactly as the instructions say shall we it's nice and simple um, it gives you a warning but so make sure you do click deploy okay but if you click deploy then it's fine you can just you can reload the page it's safe to do that and you'll see it is deployed you can also download it but we don't need to do that because we're just going to play on the learn to mod server we'll jump back here and you can see it gives us this command which I think is actually too big I don't think we can actually use that but we'll give it a shot yeah see it cuts off the end so you can't actually use that command see if I run it it's not going to do anything because it didn't have the full command so we can't use that command but we can use this mod block here so that makes things nice and simple and I have actually already made a mod that makes it super easy to change between texture packs so here we go load texture pack nice and simple I'll show you guys what this is all about um, simply what it does is it asks you what texture pack you want and then it loads the corresponding texture pack so I've already gone and added dummy for video 
and you can see that it loads in dummy for video that was um, this is the block that it showed us in the texture pack screen so if I click mod and put that into my minecraft then we can this is the mod here in this mod book we can click that there we go you can see the text and if I type in 5 we should get the cake oh it see it downloads the texture pack for you and it's going to apply that in a second now we need to go ahead and and find a cake to prove it to you guys here's the cake all right all right let's get out of there and now if I place a cake we can see it's blue I think I need to change the icon also so maybe I'll just go quickly change the icon and I'll be right back okay so yeah that's the mod I'll make this available for you guys to uh, I'll make it public and put the link in the description so you guys can grab that mod as well and right now I want to jump back into this texture pack that I'm editing and we'll change the cake we want to change this cake icon because it doesn't match right we've got we've got a blue topping not not this this red anymore so what I want to do is make this blue get some blue dots going different colored blue dots I think I used this color as well last time so we'll change that and commit the changes it will save that's all good we'll deploy it and we'll wait a couple of seconds for it to deploy hit the refresh button it's, it's deployed so now if we go into Minecraft, we shall type in 5 again. Do that. Yep, so it'll download. Because I've got that mod running, it'll download this texture pack again. And now you can see, look, it's blue. How cool is that? We've got now a blue cake instead. It's so brilliant. Um, okay, so now let's go and show you guys a few different things we can also do. I reckon a cool thing to change would be the mossy cobblestone. So shall we change the mossy cobblestone? Because... I reckon how cool would it look if instead of like moss it was like red like how crazy it would be if you walk in to like a dungeon and it's like red like mossy stuff everywhere instead of green it would be like so much more creepy right so what we could do is just like click through here and start adding some red right but then look at all these different colored greens we'd have to change like all the different colored reds and there's, there's only like one option for red so hopefully learn to mod add an option to change colors but because they don't We'll, um, we'll, we've got a little solution worked out. So I just I just wanted to get rid of my red there. That's why I closed that. Could have clicked undo, I guess. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to download that because this is mossy. Because we can do that. We can download these images. You can see it's downloaded there. And I shall try and find that image in my downloads folder. So here we go, mossy. Um, just ignore my race and stuff. Um, I'm going to actually edit this with paint.net so if you guys don't have paint.net I recommend you get it because it is a really sort of awesome way to edit images it's a free it's a free bit of software it might take a few seconds to load so now we've got this is just on my computer right this is just editing an image on my own computer we we'll zoom right in because this image is really small so if I select everything this cool thing with paint on there it has lots of features like we can change the hue and saturation so if I change the hue it'll change sort of like the coloration so we can make this any color we want and I said I wanted red so whereabouts is red was it here somewhere oh here we go see now this how creepy would this be how creepy would it be like it would be so cool if you walk into a dungeon and it's like red it's like evil you know it's it wants to attack you just like just like they actually do um, I'm going to save that file. So now we have this red file. It's just on my computer. It's not on Learn to Mod yet. But the thing is, the cool thing is, you can go back to Learn to Mod and you can open the file. See, so now we're going to choose this file. Oh my goodness. Okay, we've got all sorts of pictures going on. Please ignore. Where's my downloads? Right there. And we're going to choose that file that we just edited. And now it's green. I mean, green? It was green. Now it's red. <laughs> How cool is that? It looks so mint. We're going to commit those changes so that it saves. No? Please? There we go. Okay, so that's saved. So now we have like red mossy cobblestone and it looks oh it looks kinda like blood, like it's been someone's been crushed in between the stones. Oh, it's so evil. It's like so more creepy than I was expecting. But I love it. And just like before, we will deploy that. Wait a few seconds. I'll just talk about something random like I don't know, I just had some shapes. Shapes are yum, aren't they? And then we'll refresh the page. It's deployed. So we can jump into Minecraft and see what it looks like. Um, once again, I'll just load up, reload that mod. 
mod, uh, reload the texture pack using my mod and it makes it really easy to edit your mods when you just have to type in a number so we got the same texture pack we're going to find some what is it mossy cobblestone no no oh oh it's just moss stone I thought it was called mossy cobblestone wow okay I've been confused all this time that's alright we'll get out of that we'll, look at this even the little image is, is red how creepy and awesome is that like that looks and we've just you know we've just edited an image how it's it's that it was that easy it's like took me like a few minutes boom done okay now and you can just go through um, what you do is you just go through each one that you want to change you know you might want to change the bed just click on the image change the image save it and do that for each one that you want I have already I've already had a little bit of a play around and I've changed some stuff myself so I'll use my awesome mod again um, what number is it number one see my first pack oops T number one we'll load up that pack and take a look so you can get this mod yourself I'll link that mod as the the texture pack changing mod and you guys can change in your own mods and stuff the cake broke I don't know why the cakes broken but the cakes broken and you can see that I've changed the way these look make it easier for me to mine and I've also changed the grass to be sort of crazy oopsies um, yeah I've changed the grass and I've also changed the dirt I don't know I just I, th I think it looks nice and simple it's cool I should also mention that you can make your uh, texture packs public um, here whoa yes okay you can make your texture packs public and then other people like your friends and stuff will be able to come in and grab the same texture pack as you so if you do want other people to play with the same texture pack boom make it public easy as no no go away thank you <laughs> so that is how you edit a texture pack with learn to mod create your own texture pack use a mod to load the texture pack into your world of course you can use you can use that with another mod so maybe like attack something and then it changes the texture pack that'd be pretty cool maybe I should try that um, but yeah and you can also just use pho photo editing software to, to edit the textures and it's all good it's super simple you saw I do it me do it in just a few minutes hopefully you guys will create something awesome if you do create an awesome uh, texture pack after watching this then please share it with me I'd love to see some cool texture packs and add them into my texture pack mod that would be great uh, but until then, I will s see you when I see you or something. I am going to go eat this cake because, I mean, look at it. It's blue. It even matches, like, my skin and my clothes. How cool is that? My cake matches my outfit. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.